this burger, these fries, guys, I can't even begin to explain how bomb this is and satisfying. Not only is it super tasty, but it's healthy too. Let's get started. I have all of the ingredients listed below in the description box. So if you're cooking along with me, make sure you have all of those ingredients out. And grab one onion, one bunch of cilantro, one jalapeno, and the minced garlic. Put that all in the food processor and set it aside. Then dump two pounds of ground turkey in a big bowl. Add the chopped fresh ingredients and crack one egg in there. Then season it with two tablespoons of chicken bouillon seasoning, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one and a half tablespoons of paprika, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a half teaspoon of white pepper. Give it a good mix and we're done making the filling. These turkey burgers have four steps and that was step one. Step two is forming the patties. Scoop up about a palm portion of the filling and start flattening it out in your hand and forming that patty size that you want. I'm doing mine kind of the size as my palm. I definitely recommend doing this with gloves on, otherwise it's just gonna be a big sticky mess. And trust me, you do not want that. We don't got time for that. Not today, not tomorrow, not yesterday either. Just get some gloves, it's a game changer. These patties are going to chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. So I'm separating the patties with cookie sheets in between them so that they don't stick together. I just cut up squares of cookie sheets so that I could do this. This makes eight patties and I'm setting four in the fridge and the other four in the freezer. So I'm gonna cook four today and then keep the rest in the freezer for later on down the line. I just wanted to mention that the egg gives it that fluffy, light texture. And that is what makes the difference between freshly made turkey patties and the ones that you can buy frozen. One of the most satisfying parts about making this recipe is taking your gloves off after this and just seeing how clean your hands are because you can feel all that stickiness on the gloves. So it's just so satisfying to just take those gloves off and see what the magic does of gloves. Okay, the patties are all done. Put one of them in the fridge and the other, get it ready for the freezer. Put some saran wrap or foil over the plate, flip it upside down, then wrap it up like a gift. This comes in super clutch as a quick lunch during the week. As the patties are chilling, prep the toppings and fries. I have one freshly washed large russet potato here. Cut it in half, then cut that half in half. Cut that half in half one more time. Please make sure that your fingers are kind of clawed into the potatoes so that you don't accidentally cut your finger. Basically, cut the potato in half until you have four of the halves. Then cut those halves into four to five pieces. And lastly, cut that in half. Repeat this process with the rest of the potato and put it into a bowl. Then drizzle some olive oil, sprinkle some seasoned salt, 
garlic rosemary seasoning and that's it it's so simple but it is one of the best fries i ever had and i'm sure it'll be at least one of yours too it's so good and they're healthy because we're frying it in an air fryer pop these glorious fries in at 400 degrees for 20 minutes step one was making the filling step two was forming the patties step three was making the fries and step four last but not least is putting it all together First, heat two tablespoons of oil in a pan. Once the oil is hot, fry the patties for five to six minutes on medium to low heat. And season to your liking. Three minutes into the cooking, flip it over and let it cook for another two to three minutes. Make sure to move around the pan and spread that oil before you flip it over. Flatten it out just a little bit and season the other side to your liking. Guys, look at how golden and crispy those edges are looking. Mm. The fries are about halfway done at this point. Give it a good shake so that it can cook evenly and let it finish cooking. In the meantime, let's build the burger. Turn the heat off and add some pepper jack cheese on there. Put a lid on the pan so that it can melt. And look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It's the crispy edges for me. Now get a clean pan, melt some butter in there, and press the buns into that butter and let it soak it up. These brioche buns are so pillowy soft and it just complements the whole burger. I really recommend using these. They're just delicious. Flip them over and let the other side warm up just for a few seconds. Top it off with your favorite burger toppings. I got shredded lettuce, tomatoes, onions, Thousand Island, and ketchup. These fries are looking absolutely gorgeous. Yes, that is all my friends. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Good luck making this. Let me know what you think. Toodles!